It's March, it's Women's History Month, so we're gonna be talking about some notable female botanists. Catherine Esau was a German-American botanist born in 1898, and she is one of the most famous UC Davis professors, specifically for her research in plant anatomy and developmental plant anatomy. Catherine Esau studied the phloem, which is a key part of plant anatomy that all of the plants around me share. The phloem acts kind of like our veins, but in plants, instead of transporting blood, they transport sugars. So she studied how plants like this giant vanilla right here can transport sugars from their little roots all the way up to the very top of their shoots. Catherine Esau also studied how cells differentiate. So you can see right here some brand new leaves growing off this vanilla, and you can also see some little roots growing off here too. So she studied how the stem cells, like in us, differentiate in plants. All the information I've shared with you today, I actually learned in a class called Developmental Plant Anatomy, PLB 105, which was created by Catherine Esau herself and is still taught today. Elizabeth Blackwell is a very well-known botanical artist. Her most famous work is uh, water lilies. Here at Botanical Conservatory, we have many, many different types of water lilies. This one I'm holding right now is called Nymphaea theramum. It is the world's smallest water lily, endemic to Rwanda. Its leaves only grow about an inch wide. Another one that we have is Victoria Amazonica. This is the largest lily in the world, native to the Amazon rainforest, and its pads grow about 10 feet wide. If you guys like to learn more about plants, come check out the UC Davis Botanical Conservatory and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.